Mark my words, guys, this mother chucker right here, it's going to be looked back on in the vape industry as being a very, very, very pivotal product. It's that big. I definitely see where it's going, and it's going Nick Salt. You got all these pre-filled pods and all these refillable pod systems that are blowing up. And this right here, it takes Nick Salt, and it's a squawk device. Yeah, baby, this puppy chucker right here takes vaping Nick Salt to a whole new level. Once you pick this sucker up for the first time, you carry it out and about with you, because this sucker's light. You can't even feel it. Hell, this is lighter than most refillable pod systems. I ain't shitting you. It is tiny. It is the smallest squawk device ever made. That I've ever seen. I'm not joking when I say this thing reminds me of a refillable pod system. It's better though because you could dial everything in. You could dial the airflow in. You could dial the voltage from 3.3 to 4.5 volts. You could squonk it. You could use your nicotine salts. But yeah, the main reason why it reminds me of a refillable pod system is because the RDA, you're going to see this in the close ups. When you go to squonk this thing, it holds all the juice in. It freaking does not leak. I mean, you could get anything to leak if you really, 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 really try. But like I said, this little itty bitty RDA that sits on top of here, it holds the juice in kind of like a tank, kind of like a pod. And another thing, with all these pods, popular refillable pods out there, you only get one pod. You can't rebuild it. You can't rewick it. Not on most of them. With this, you don't have to worry about it. Once you carry this out and about with you, you won't even give a shit about carrying refillable or pre-filled pods with you anymore. To get right down to the nitty gritty, this is definitely not meant for the newbie. You know those newbies who loves their pre-filled pods or refillable pods. This is meant for that rebuildable vapor who loves their nicotine salts but can't use their nicotine salts and all their other rebuildable devices because it's too strong. You like to use Nick salts. You know how to build. You're going to love this. Oh yeah, Rip. What's this mother checker called? It's called the Simple X from a company you know who they are vandy vape all righty so here's the packaging this simple ex squonk kit comes in by vandy vape of course, inside that packaging, you're going to receive your simple EX Squonk kit. You get a USB cable to charge that puppy chucker. Included is a matte black stainless steel top cap for your RDA. A matchy matchy plastic 510 drip tip. An extra Delrin 510 drip tip. Included is two pre built Clapton style NI80 coils. And both of these NI80 coils are about 2.5 millimeter in diameter. Six wraps, 1.24 ohms. Recommended vape 8 watts to 16 watts. Also included is a baggie of extras, which includes a flathead screwdriver, an Allen key tool, some extra O rings, extra screws, and a gold plated solid 510 pin comes with a vandy vape quality control card a warranty card and last but certainly not least a simple ex squonk kit user manual now i've personally seen two color options for this kit you could choose the neon green with the black or you could choose the pink and the black now onto this xrda first of all she's primarily made of stainless steel and plastic she's 21 millimeter in width of the base and about 26 millimeter in length down to the base she comes pre-installed with this gold plated squonk pin threads are obviously nice and smooth and also down at the base it says xrda design and manufactured by vandy Vandy vape. And she also has this Phillips head screw to keep the negative connection secure. On the side of this RDA, you got six different airflow slots, six different MTL airflow slots. Right now, it's on its small setting, smallest MTL restrictive mouth lung setting. But in order to adjust this airflow, you got to grab a hold of the barrel. Make sure the RDA is screwed onto the mod first, but you grab a hold of the barrel and you just twist it. Easy peasy, what a sleazy. And wide open, she's a nice primer puff mouth to lung hit. Here's what she sounds like. You can also do your restrictive lung hits too on the wide open setting. Here it is with the second largest airflow setting, mouth to lung draw first. Now here's what she sounds like when I do a restrictive lung hit. Just like the wide open, very comfortable. Here it is in front of the third largest. Again, we're going to start with a mouth to lung draw. Oh, that's a super duper comfortable primer puff mouth to lung draw right there. And you can still do a restrictive lung hit too. Now on to the fourth airflow setting, and this is where you start to get a nice restrictive mouth to lung draw. Now to the second small setting. Yeah, baby, that second small setting is like the perfect mouth to lung draw for me. Now to the smallest and most restrictive mouth to lung draw. You probably can't even hear that, can you? I mean, that is super duper tight, guys. So in order to get this RDA cap off, what you got to do is screw it onto the device first, just like we have it, and then we're going to go ahead and twist it. And it comes right off. And it is a tight, tight, tight fit when you get it, guys. Just letting you know. And watch this. It's not seized at all. I'm going to go ahead and unscrew the base. See that? So you don't have to worry about seizing these threads down here. I do want to point it out. You're going to scratch the inside of this barrel if you don't juice it up from the get-go. Because it's plastic, you got to keep this thing juiced up all the time. Otherwise, you're going to scratch the inside of the barrel, okay? Now on to the next section for this puppy chugger. First of all, you get the positive connection here. The negative connection here uses flathead screws. These are your lead slots on each side. So you're going to be sliding your leads in, tightening down those flathead screws to make a connection. And your coil is going to be sitting right in the middle. We've seen this plenty of times before. And that airflow is going to be coming up, hitting right underneath that coil. And then down below, you got one squawk hole on one side, one squawk hole on the other and then your wick's going to be sitting on each side on each side into that deep juice well i mean deep for a 21 millimeter device that is and if we go back on this side where the positive connection is we got our airflow slots and of course we got dual o-rings on the deck lip 
Okie dokie. So here's what it looks like with one of the pre-built Claflin style coils that comes with this kit. I spaced the coils just a little bit. And as you guys can see, I tighten down those connections on each side. And this is the distance I like to keep the coil. And this coil reads about 1.25 ohms. Yeah, boy. So I pulled that cotton through there really, really, really tight. That's the way I like to do it. You don't have to do it that way. I do that so I don't get any spit back. And the distance I cut my tails, about right there. And then all I'm going to do from there is tuck it into those wick slots on each side. Now, as far as this simple x quonk mod goes, she's primarily made of ABS and nylon, which is a type of plastic. She's about 58 millimeter by about 48 millimeter by about 23 millimeter. I mean, this sucker is tiny. Smallest squonk device I've ever seen. I mean, look at that thing in my hand, guys. And I don't have giant hands. And just to give you guys a size comparison, here's the teapot on my left, which is a freaking refillable pod system. The teapot is bigger than the simple x squonk mod. Obviously, it's not as thick. But it's longer. This sucker right here is a lot lighter than this. And this is a squawk mod, guys. What? Yeah, so once again, here's the size comparison between a refillable pod system and a squawk mod. That's crazy. And here's another size comparison. The Cito refillable pod system, which I already have a review on in this puppy chucker. And I tell you what, this one's longer. It's taller. Obviously, this is thicker than this. But I just can't get over it, man. Yeah, so they're pretty close in weight, man. Maybe this is just a touch heavier. But I just can't get over it. A squawk mod versus a refillable pod system. That's just nuts. At the top of this device, you got a stainless steel 510 connection, stainless steel 510 connection threads gold plated squonk connection also says simple x on this side and then on the front of this device you got your fire button you got your mini screen which i'm going to show you in a second you get variable voltage buttons and then below that you got your usb port for charging and that's right i said variable voltage buttons this is a variable voltage device it's not a variable wattage doesn't have temperature it's just simple easy peasy water sleazy voltage device and then on this side of the device you got a translucent magnetic door for your bottle. And this bad boy comes out like so. And it's got strong magnets. But yeah, there's your bottle. This is not the bottle that comes with the final version. Just letting you know. And this is not a final version, obviously. It's the pre-production. So yeah, this bottle's a little bit too weak. A little bit too soft for mouse and lung mode. But I'll go ahead and show you this bottle anyway. So yeah, you pull this sucker out. Holds four mils of juice. And then you go ahead and unscrew it. Fill her up. When you're done filling her up, pop it back on there. You guys know the drill. Pop this sucker back in there. Pop the door back on there, and I love how the door clicks into place. Hear this. Love that sound. And yeah, you're pretty much ready to go with this simple X squonk mod. Oh yeah, now I gotta show you the mini screen, don't I? Five clicks, the fire button turns her on. One, two, three, four, five. And yes, the mini screen, it is very dim. I mean, it's not horrible. You can see it. But if you're out in the daylight, you're not going to be able to see it. I'm just not a big fan of these tinted screens. All these manufacturers making tinted screens, stop doing it. I want to be able to see my screen out in the daylight. But as you guys can see, as you press that fire button, it's going to blink because nothing's on this device. But yeah, you got your battery gauge. You got your voltage down below. And yeah, if we adjust this variable voltage up button, okay, it adjusts from 3.3 to 3.6, from 3.6 to 3.9, from 3.9 to 4.2, and from 4.2 to 4.5. So yeah, 0.3 increments, 3.3 volts, all the way up to 4.5 volts. And in my opinion, 4.5 max volts is plenty if you're going to be using this thing in nicotine salt mode plenty oh yeah and this little mamma jamma houses an 850 milliamp hour battery and 850 milliamp hours that's been plenty for me man okie dokie so i went ahead and filled this bottle up like i said this sucker holds four mils of juice pop the rda that comes with this kit on here and i'm gonna go ahead and squonk just to show you what she does again she's bone dry right now go ahead and hit that bottle again and as you guys can see it's not coming out this section right here these holes It's coming out right here and right here. And we're going to have the barrel on there, so it's not going to be able to penetrate. So here's an up-close view for you. I never even juiced her up from the top, just the bottom, and she's already completely saturated. I'm going to go ahead and hit this bottle one more time. Yeah, juice never comes out these slots. Never. And it's because you have that little barrier. You see that? That peak insulator barrier? That's why they designed it like this. Go ahead and pop my plastic top cap on there. So I want you guys to hear this. Right now it's at 4.5 volts. Have not even taken a hit off of it yet and I freaking soaked it. You guys saw it. I pretty much flooded it. First I'm going to take a pull to see if there's juice in the freaking airflow slots. No freaking e-liquid guys. None. So any of that juice that got in there, it sucked it right back down into the bottle. First of all, it's hard to get spit back on this. Especially if you wick this sucker tight. Second of all, never had any leaking issues. I just showed you. And with the 1.25 ohm coil that I have in here, I prefer to vapor between 3.9 and 4.2 volts. One of those settings. Now if I go over to 50 milligram, I drop the voltage. Some of you guys out there may prefer to vape at its max, 4.5 volts, even with 50 milligram juice. It's all personal opinion. Everybody's got different anatomy. But with this device, 35 milligram nicotine salts is plenty. So yeah, the flavor I get off this 
phenomenal. The draw that I get off this is phenomenal. You can vape in really, really, really restrictive mouth to lung mode, or you can get a nice restrictive lung hit mode. I'm gonna show you in FaceTime. But yeah, back to the flavor, it kills any pot system out there. And look how freaking small this thing is. It is tiny. This is the future. Having Nick Salts in here, you can even do your free base juice. You're gonna have to take it up. But I definitely think the Nick Salts in here are more efficient. But yeah, I can't get over how tiny this thing is. It's tiny, it packs a punch depending on the build you pop in here. The fact that they include the two pre built coils, 1.25 or 1.26 ohm coils, they're great. I'm just loving everything about this. The only thing is the bottle change, and they're making it happen. They're definitely making it happen with the final production. The mini screen for this device, like you guys just saw, yeah, it's a little bit dim. That's another nitpicky con, but I love how simple it is. And another nitpicky con, you can't really dial it in on the voltage. Like you guys saw, it is just in 0.3 increments. Some of you guys may not like that. You may want to be able to adjust in 0.1 increments. But it hasn't bothered me in the two weeks that I've been using it. The color options, the pink and the green, that's killer. The function buttons, no button rattle, nice and clicky. Check how clicky this fire button is. Yeah, baby, and I like the shape of it too. It feels super comfy on the index finger. Oh yeah, the built-in battery. Like I mentioned before, I get great, great, great battery life for the way that I vape with this. The fact that you get that extra stainless steel cap, that's a pro. Another thing to point out, as you vape with this plastic cap, you're gonna see some condensation. That may be another little nitpicky for you. But again, you got that other stainless steel cap if you wanna use it. Oh yeah, and I wanna show you what it looks like when you have this sucker on here and you go to squonker. Gonna go ahead and hit that bottle. Guys, it's almost all the way up to the top of the drip tip and it's not coming out. Not coming out these airflow slots. You see it a little bit, but it contains it. Yeah, no juice on my thumb, guys. So it's almost like a refillable pod system where you can squonk it. Okie dokie, so I got her set to 4.5 volts and I've got the largest hole open. I'm gonna do a lung hit. I'm gonna show you that you could do a nice restrictive lung hit with this. And of course the juice that I'm rocking in here is a nicotine sauce juice. It's 35 milligram and I'm rocking lava flow. I'm flipping hooked on that stuff, man. It's a pineapple, strawberry, and coconut. And you can get that stuff on over at vapetrick.com. Check it out. I tell you what, that was a thump. It was good. I mean, she hit the back of my throat and my brain said, you buzzing now, sonny. <laughs> God almighty. Flavor is just on point. Like I said, blows away any refillable pot system or pre-fill pot system out there when it comes to flavor. And the draw too, man. I mean, you're not getting crazy more airflow off this than you are the refillable pot systems. Some of those refillable pot systems, you can do nice comfortable lung hits. That's how this is, but it's just a tiny bit more. Tiny bit more than most. But yeah, where it has those devices beat is one, the freaking RDA. You're able to build and dial it in and that airflow dialing it in, you got those six different slots. And then on top of that, you got squonk mode where you're shooting juice of the freaking cotton in the coil. So it's constantly staying saturated. And then you got the voltage. What other refillable pot or pod system out there vapes at 4.5 volts? I don't know any. For a little bitty kit like this, she's a chucking. Now I'm gonna go ahead and drop the airflow to its third largest setting and I'm gonna drop the voltage, gotta do it. 4.2 volts with that third slot open. Mm. Oh yeah, that's a mouth alarm for you. Oh, I forgot to say it. Oh man. Now if I didn't suck it in as long, the vapor would be more obviously. Here I'll show you, you can get more vapor production in mouth alarm mode. Yeah, man. I'm telling you, this is the real effing deal. Probably the most stoked I've been about a product since the first sub-ohm tank hit the market. And that was what? At least three years ago. Now I'm gonna go ahead and close her off to its second smallest hole. And obviously I'm gonna have to drop that voltage. Go ahead and drop it to 3.6 volts. And also another thing, when you're vaping on this, you wanna make sure the airflow is facing up. You're gonna get smoother airflow that way. Now this right here, the second smallest hole open, I'm getting a tighter hit off this than any refillable pot system out there. I mean, this thing is legit mouth to lung mode, baby. Like cigarette. I can't keep going. If I keep going, I'm gonna go through the roof. I'm gonna be like Roger Rabbit. And the small soul, we ain't even going to. I can't do it. It's just too damn tight. You guys heard in the close ups. Price point, price point, price point. I don't know what the price point is. I yeah, I don't know. It's this is pre-production. It hadn't even come out yet. But you know what? I'll post links down in the description of the sites that I know of that are credible that will be carrying it. And they'll let you know what the price point is. Now on to the big question, the big answer today. Hey Rip, which vapor out there is gonna benefit from this bad boy the most? I already answered it before. I always answered it before in my videos, but you know what? It's like a recap. I'll go ahead and answer it again for you. This is meant for that vapor looking for a tiny little square that prefers to vape their nicotine salts. Like I said, this is like a refillable pod system where you could squonk it and dial in everything. You looking for that and all the other stuff that I mentioned in this video about that? Well, then I think this puppy chugger just may be for you. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video, liked it, found it entertaining and helpful. If you did like it, well then hit that like button. Let me know that you care and share it for all your friends to see. And if you want to see more of me, subscribe for more. This is Rip Chippers and remember, smoking is dead, vaping is the future, and the future is now. Ah.